Getty Images The Weinstein Company is set to change its name after the firing of disgraced chief executive Harvey Weinstein, the rep has learned. An individual with knowledge of the company said the Weinstein name has been irretrievably tainted by the scandal, which led to the departure of one of the most iconic moguls in modern-day Hollywood. TWC will need a new name, the individual told the rep, adding that the decision has not been formally made but has been discussed by the board members and is expected to happen. Also read Harvey Weinstein fired from the Weinstein Company Bob Weinstein, Harvey's younger brother and co-chairman, has stepped in with Ku David Glasser to run the company in the interim. Glasser seems to be the most likely pick to be CEO in Harvey Weinstein's place, as he has been the executive's deputy for a decade and was lured back after leaving over a contract renewal dispute two years ago. Bob Weinstein has mainly focused on running Dimension, the Weinstein Company's genre division. The board terminated Harvey Weinstein after meeting yet again in emergency session on Sunday, following three days of turmoil and scandal after the New York Times published an investigative piece about his sexual misconduct. Since then, even more lurid stories have emerged, making it difficult to justify Weinstein's promises to take a leave of absence to get help. Insiders tell the rep that Weinstein resisted their demands that he take a significant leave from the company to deal with his sexual problems and modify his behavior. It remains to be seen what will happen to the nature and culture of the independent film company so closely tied to Harvey Weinstein's personality and brand. The individual said the name change would likely happen this award season, although Harvey Weinstein himself was said to be making edits to the current war, the company's awards hopeful, as recently as last week. Said the individual if you do it, you do it right away. Indie mogul Harvey Weinstein, who was fired Sunday from his position of co-CEO of the Weinstein Company, revolutionized the Oscar race both at TWC and his previous company, Miramax. Harvey Weinstein first got into the Oscar race in a big way in 1990 with a guerrilla campaign for the art house drama My Left Foot by setting up meet and greets between Academy members and film talent. The result Oscar wins for stars Daniel Day-Lewis and Brenda Fricker. In 1995, Weinstein mounted a surprisingly aggressive campaign for upstar director Quentin Tarantino's ultraviolent pulp fiction helping to redefine what sorts of movies could appeal to the Academy. Tarantino shared a screenplay Oscar with Roger Avery. Miramax snagged its first Best Picture victory for 1996's The English Patient which earned a total of nine awards, including for director Anthony Minghella and lead actress Juliette Binoche. Weinstein built an awareness campaign for the then-known Billy Bob Thornton for 1996's Sling Blade which yielded an Oscar for his adapted screenplay and a nomination for Best Actor. Miramax pulled off a double coup with 1997's Good Will Hunting, delivering Robin Williams his long-awaited first Oscar and a rare screenplay prize for two 20-something newbies, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. One year later, Miramax pulled out all the stops after landing two Best Picture nominations, including for the Italian-language drama Life is Beautiful. According to Peter Biskind's book Down and Dirty Pictures, star writer Roberto Begnini moved into L.A. for a month during the peak of the voting period. The film came away with three Oscars, including Best Actor. That year, Miramax pulled off a bigger upset when Shakespeare in Love seized Best Picture over Steven Spielberg's heavily favored Saving Private Ryan. Shakespeare won a total of seven Academy Awards, including four actresses Gwyneth Paltrow and Judi Dench. Miramax surprised many by landing yet another Best Picture nomination for the 2000 Juliet Binocca Johnny Depp Bon Bon Choco Law. In 2003, the Weinsteins had a hand in four of the five Best Picture nominees Chicago, The Hours, Gangs of New York and The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers on which they had producer credits. Chicago won the top prize as well as five others. In 2004, Miramax took advantage of a careful reading of Academy rules and scored four nominations for the Brazilian inner city drama City of God even though the film had failed to land a Best Foreign Language Film nomination the previous year. The Weinsteins exited Disney-owned Miramax and founded their own company in 2005 and got right back in the Oscar race with two nominations for one of their first releases, the Felicity Huffman vehicle Transamerica. By 2009, the Weinstein Company landed its first Best Picture contender with the reader and also snagged Kate Winslet her first Oscar as Best Actress in a role that many thought was more of a supporting part. Two years later, TWC scored its first Best Picture win for The King's Speech as well as three other awards, including Best Actor for Colin Firth. The following year, Weinstein pulled off another coup landing five Oscars, including Best Picture for the mostly silent, black-and-white ode to old Hollywood, The Artist. 
In 2013, TWC again had two horses in the Best Picture race Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained and Silver Linings Playbook which landed Jennifer Lawrence the prize for Best Actress. Last year, Weinstein successfully landed six nominations including Best Picture for Garth Davis' Tearjerker Lion. But just as Open Road won the top prize in 2016 for Spotlight, another upstart, A24, used a lot of Harvey touches to score the Indie Moonlight a Best Picture win. Indie mogul Harvey Weinstein, who was fired Sunday from his position of co-CEO of the Weinstein Company, revolutionized the Oscar race both at TWC and his previous company, Miramax.